When describing how a detailed map is laid out, we combine multiple channels from multiple different types of textures to make the detail map contents. As you can see in the completely packaged detail map, we have in the red channel the albedo, in the green the normal red channel, and then in the blue we have the gloss map, which would normally go in the normal alpha. And then in the alpha we have the normal green channel. It can get kind of confusing, but we're going to assemble them all, and at the end, we will have created a detail map in Photoshop for the engine. As previously described, we have the albedo, the normal, and the gloss map inside of this master folder for the detail map. Keep in mind this image is not very big, and considering the fact that we're going after micro detail, I recommend you keep your size pretty small so then the overhead or the size of your texture doesn't multiply over the entire level and you're consuming up too much memory. To start out, we need to create a new layer because we're going to combine these maps. So I'm going to call this one Detail. I need to go in and I need to press Shift F5 and I'm going to cover it all in white. That's a flood. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solo my Albedo texture. I'm going to press Control A, Control C and then I'm going to turn on my detail, and with that selected, I'm going to go into my red channel, and I'm going to press Control V. So now I have my albedo texture in the red channel, as said. I'm going to go ahead and hide that, and now we can actually just ditch the albedo texture. The next thing that we want to do is let's get rid of the gloss map. So we're going to go in there, we'll press Control C, and then we're going to Alt-click on the detail, and then we're going to come in here, and we're going to add to the blue channel. So basically turning off all of them, and then pressing Control V, we can come in. We're starting to get a texture that kind of looks like a detail map. Now what we need to do is we need to turn this off, and we can dump the gloss there. And before we do anything, let's turn it back on and add an alpha. So now we have the alpha channel. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to come back in here and turn this on and go to our normal map, and we're after the red and the green channel. Let's get the red channel first, so we're soloing that. Press Control A, Control C, and then we'll come back into our detail map. And then we're going to go into the green channel, and we're going to press Control V. So now we're getting closer. We almost have everything. Going back into the normal map, we want to go and get the green channel from this. We're going to go Control A, Control C. Go back into the detail map. And then inside of the alpha, we're going to press Control V. So now we've successfully set up our detail map. And we have all of the textures needed. So we can go to File, Save As. And I'll go ahead and save it as a CryTIFF. So we'll do concrete underscore detail. And we can see that we have detail merged albedo normal smoothness. And then we also have a lossless. We can go ahead and just choose detail merged albedo normal smoothness. And then we can generate the output and click OK. And press Control D to deselect. And this concludes the portion where we create a detail map to be used inside of the engine to make micro detail content for all of your models.